Hi everybody, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five different meals that you can feed a crew of 10 on for only five bucks each. So let's get after it. Okay, so having a large family, nine mouths to feed three times a day, one of the big questions we get asked from friends and family and the YouTube interweb world is how the heck do you feed so many people on so tight of a budget? Well, today I'm gonna share with you some of the meals that we have in, come to enjoy that we really like. The kids like them and they're super cheap. I've got five meals that you can feed about 10 people on for five bucks. And I'm not talking about a bunch of chemical processed nonsense this is stuff that's good and the kids like it and we don't mind feeding it to them. One quick note before we get to the list is that we grow a lot of stuff here on our homestead. We raise animals for meat and we have eggs and chickens and garden and all that kind of stuff. So a large part of what we actually consume is stuff that we've grown here. But that's not what's in this video today. This video today is designed to help out the large family or people who are on a budget type budget trying to figure out different meals that you can create, make, that are not gonna break the bank. And these, like I said, they're all five bucks or less, so let's get to it right now. Okay, so number one on the list is a no-brainer. If you don't already know the mystery, the majesty, the divinity, well, not really divinity, but spaghetti. Uh, spaghetti is so easy. It's, it's basically costs you under five bucks. I'm gonna throw up on the screen right now the actual numbers but um, kids love it. Spaghetti's easy, um, and it's just two cans of spaghetti sauce and two things of pasta. And uh, also, we threw in there our artisan bread. We make the, the most awesome, tasty artisan bread for dipping into an olive oil that you put a little salt, a little pepper on there, and it's so, so nice. And uh, we actually have a video, so if you wanna check out our channel on the, uh, the artisan bread, it only comes out to about 40 cents to make it. So that is one meal that's a no-brainer, should be on your meal plan, cheap, 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 and tasty. All right, number two on the list, and that is breakfast burritos. Uh, clocking in, weighing in, uh, charging in, however you wanna say it, at $4.95, you can feed 10 people. And basically, you get yourself a dozen eggs, you scramble them up, you put some meat, and in this case, we use like small diced up ham that way, it doesn't break the bank, but if you happen to have some other meat lying around that you like better, use that. But the, the ham goes a long way because you, if you dice up the ham, um, you can really, really stretch it out. And then it's just basically cheese and tortillas. That is great, the kids love it. You could put a side of salsa out there or whatever you wanna do, but fast, easy meal, feeds lots of people really cheap. All right, so number three is a recipe that we call unstuffed cabbage casserole. And what that is, is it's basically you take a head of cabbage and you dice it up real nice so that the pieces are, you know, about an inch or so. And then you're going to get a couple cans, I believe it's three cans of diced tomatoes. You can get the flavored ones, get them on sale so they're only 50 cents a can. And uh, you're gonna fry up some ground beef, put all this stuff together and uh, top it with some cheese bake it till your cabbage is soft and you have a winner. All right, next up is the ever loved, ever sought after kid pleasing uh, extravarama thingy of the baked potato bar. Our kids really like the baked potato bar and I think it's just because it's kind of up to them. It's, it's a variety sort of situation where you only cost you two bucks for the baking potatoes and then you have the rest of your money for whatever fixins you want to put out there, whether it's butter or sour cream or whatever it is that you have, you know, pepperoni or whatever. And so they really like that because they kind of get to personalize their own meal and it's cheap, filling, awesome. Now this next one is one meal that I personally really, really like and that is country style biscuits and sausage gravy. Now the sausage, the ground sausage, the pork sausage is the only thing that's kind of expensive at all but you can get away with making it with a half pound, but we really like it really full of meat. So you make it with a pound of ground up sausage. You'll add some red pepper flakes in there and do some other things. And then you make um, basically Southern style biscuits. You pour that biscuits over the, uh, or the gravy over the biscuits and oh man, you are in chubby guy heaven. 
so yeah. So there it is, people. Please share the video. Don't forget to click subscribe. Hey, didn't cost you anything to watch the video, right? So double your money back guarantee if you didn't like the info. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, please don't forget to click like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.